Wagwan all of my viewers, Wagwan all of my subscribers. No people, this happened in the middle of half a tree yesterday. Yo, it's like a some movie thing the man them a deal with from the other day, you know. In the middle of half a tree, broad daylight, two men go for rob a woman, you know, with ammunition. Yeah, so it turned out that it turned out in a shootout because you have some half duty police in plain clothes spot wagwan. And then at this so the shootout start, you see mana scatter be a while shot a fire. Because I was in half a tree shortly after it happened yesterday and here people are talking about how the shootout was wild and all type of things. Crossfire. Innocent people got shot. Yeah. Even this man, he a drive, I go about him business and him get caught up in the crossfire, <laughs> lose him life, car crash and everything. It seems like he was coming up on Courtney Walsh Drive, right there so, when the whole shoot out a guan. Because if you notice, the gunmen and the police were heading towards that side in the video and it happened that the man in the car, him get shot and dead. You know, unfortunately, well, one of the robbers, one of the robbers confirmed dead and them will on upon the next one. You see me? And two other person got shot. So, right now, this just goes to show that, yo, them robbers, yeah, them, them will do anything in a broad daylight. Them not care. But, I must commend the officers for seeing something like this. And stop it because them not upon duty, you know. A lot of police, when they are off duty, you think nobody can tell them if you do nothing, do nothing like this? <laughs> yeah. May I tell you, enough police in the force for the benefit. Them not care. Yeah, man. Enough of them are coward. So, we have to big up the police, them, for stop. Maybe them would kill that lady too, you know. With them a rob. Maybe after them rob her, them would kill her in the middle day. We see it over and over. We see it happen. Me just sorry say, yo, the man lose him life. The innocent man lose him life in this situation in the crossfire. You know, and me here say, yo, a be a wild shot. The man, them a fire star. Me no know if a one of the police bullet or one of the gunmen bullet catch this innocent man. While the shootout did a go on along the stretch in front of pavilion heading towards Courtney Walsh Drive. And this goes to show that the law enforcement need to look out for more robbers, criminals than taxi men in halfway tree. You know, it's like them are target the taxi men them more than how them are search for criminals. A two half duty police of his spot wagwan and prevent the lady from getting robbed. You see how them criminals here, the robbers them get brawling though. When you see it in front of your face, you know, they are more threat to society than taxi man. To me, them policemen here, them go all out for taxi man more than how them look for criminals. And it a pop up now in front of your face. In a, in a public demand, them a do this, you know. Crowded era, everybody a go about them business. <laughs> and, yo, more people could lose them life in this situation. Remember, wanna see, wanna see how half a tree look at the time. And, wanna see, I'm sure, wanna see what took place in me the other day. So, wanna know, say this a go happen more often. This a what happen when you don't go all out to control the crime war going in the country the gunman them a get big bad brave and bold you know it's like them not care again the man them not afraid for dead you know yeah but as me say still the police them need to go all out upon the criminals in the country before well it already a get out of hand you know, because if a man can do this in the middle of half a tree, because you know half a tree are one of the most busiest places in Jamaica, if not the busiest. So, right now the police, them need to get more serious and 
I think like right now the police force them shorter people I think them need to start recruit not just recruit more people in the force you know start give some proper training because if an incident we saw in a viral video yesterday a police just pepper spray that situation is a whole new video me need for do for talk about that you know but apart from that man who got caught up in the crossfire losing life getting a shot um the lady who the criminals were robbing she also got shot and a queen's high school girl actually got shot in the incident you know and this are one of the reasons you know why parents always tell them children to come home right after school don't idle and thing when i said this queen's high school girl was out idling or anything maybe she had go about her business she had tried to get home after school and thing but unfortunately she got caught up and I'm glad to say nobody else never lose them life. You know, as I say, more people could lose them life in this incident. You know, yeah, because the shootout, when I observe, the shootout started up a pavilion right at Constant Spring. Them run round to um, Courtney Walsh Drive. And in our next video, I see, actually, I see one of the robbers on the ground. At Irie FM, then at Zip FM, that are the bottom side of Courtney Waltz Drive. This so. so, if you know the location we are talking about, and Pavilion, where Constant Spring there, round to the bottom side of Courtney Waltz Drive, that is a long stretch, and people always a walk up and down at that area. That's why I keep on saying that it is serious, it could be more serious. More people could lose them life in that situation. You know, children from Calabar, Merle Grove and Queens High School always at that side of half a tree because them school, the nearby, you know, from them walk from Constant Spring come right down into half a tree. So maybe one of them could lose them life coming from school. Unfortunately, a Queen's High School girl got shot in the situation, but we just glad to say she's still alive and thing, you know. But I don't know where some man get out of robbing people, you know, like get a work, you know. You feel more comfortable for no say you work for your one and you know for pre nobody else own. Yeah, I don't understand where some man get out of robbing. Easy come easy go as with them always say so it better you work for your own it feel better so all of the youths them out there we are listening this no make no man draw you in a nothing say yo come make we go rob a shop and this and that and yo me no say no for uno out there who are pre people things we go rob uno would do like nobody do that to none of no family so why uno do it to people you know Uno who do like nobody rob uno daughter, uno mother, uno father, uno son. So, me no see the reason why uno are pre people things. Work out there, you know. Work out they can get. But some man goodly are pre say, yo, them can't start off with minimum wage. That is just a start. Some of the top businessmen them out there right now, them start off from nothing to something. So, Right now, the youth them have to just try get for them one and don't try kill a man or hurt someone else for make your life better. Never you try that. Don't try bring down somebody for make for uplift your life. You see me? So right now the situation is sad as me say me just sorry the man lose him life in that hole shoot out you know Jano star you drive past and a bullet just fly through your head <laughs> what a death that hat still you know yeah man but bless up all of my viewers all of my subscribers until next time i'm out